Hi everyone, it's Julie Lomas. Welcome to my channel, Conscious Connections. And um, I'm with the amazing Sue Lily today, who everybody has been asking for and want to know what she has to say on the year's astrology. So for those of you who have never been on my channel before and you haven't heard about Sue Lily, do check her out. I'll put all the details on later. She's amazing. Um, and if you do like what you hear, please do press like and subscribe to the channel. It is free and the more uh, subscriptions we get, the more we can do these wonderful interviews. So I digress. So I'm going to hand you over now to the wonderful Sue Lily, my wonderful friend and mentor, and she's the most amazing astrologer. So welcome, Sue. Hi, Julie. Hi. I was going to say good morning because that's when we're recording it, but yes, that's when people will be listening to it. Uh, so Julie asked me to do my usual thing for the year, and I must admit the last couple of years she's asked me to do it, I have, hmm, I have <laughs> winced a little bit <laughs> um, because I'm thinking... No, oh, right. You had to do that. And of course, two thousand this year, 2024, really opened up all guns blazing, you know, sort of earthquakes and goodness knows what happening all over yeah. the place. Um and so it, it's like you're thinking, hmm, yes, what does 2024 have for us? Now I shall be speaking in very general terms. Okay. I'm not gonna go through each supposed star sign as it is because things are much more complicated than that but there's a couple of very interesting things about 2024 um it's interesting because of the anniversaries that it represents and i suppose the biggest one affecting um one of the bigger countries on the planet is that the usa um it has big echoes for when the um, the USA was formed and the American Revolution. Oh, wow. So there's a huge echo at very, very deep levels for the USA this year. And of course, it's a presidential election year. Yes. And so therefore, we've got an idea that for the USA, there's big things happen, you know, coming on. Um the other thing, and probably a little bit more, not worrying, but concerning thing, is that from the start of World War II, we, ha we have where the USA is what's called a Pluto cycle, ah. um, the slowest moving planet, uh -huh. 247 years it takes to go around everything. Right. Um, the, the, from the beginning of World War II, we have an 84-year cycle which is um, Uranus. And so last year and this year, there was always likely to be a shift in things. Uranus tends to try to break old patterns. Okay, and which is happening. Which is happening. And of course, Pluto, which USA are getting mm -hmm. as a country, is very much to do with um, sorting out all the stuff that you don't want to look at. And I think that probably sums up the UK, uh, the USA at the moment. I think half the world. Of, yeah, and most of the world. Sorting out, and I'll explain why most of the world in a minute. Sorting yeah. out by, you know, things that are, need sorting. Um, the other interesting thing is from this year, going back 50 years and going back um, 100 years to 1933, 1933 was the start of the Nazis um, moving against the Jewish members of their society. Oh. Okay. And if we move to 1983, 50 years later, oh. that was with the, the, the massacres at the Olympics in Munich. Oh. And it brings us to things now. So um, collectively, as far as... Um, the Jewish peoples amongst us, um, they have their own little sub-cycle on the go. And, and of course, we have to remember quite, and a lot of people do forget, that Israel wasn't formed until 1948. Yeah. And people forget that. Um, and so, in fact, it's, it's only just coming up for 75 years old. Yeah. Um, 
And so there's a lot of things going on at that level that we that basically introduce 2024. Wow. Okay, so <clears throat> talked about the USA and Pluto. It's like it's getting its Pluto anniversary. But there's been a lot, and you've probably seen on social media, that Pluto is moving from Capricorn into Aquarius. And everyone, but it, it doesn't just go, and that's it. Chance will be a fine thing. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like the tide. It comes in a bit, and it goes out a bit. And it goes out a bit. And we're right in the bit where for the first time it's into Aquarius. And everyone's thinking, yay, this is good. But then at the middle of the year, it goes back. Oh. And one of the interesting things, this this is what's happening to the world. And this is what's happening at a spiritual level to everybody. Yeah. Is Pluto and Capricorn is very much about keeping things as they were. Let's not make any changes. You know, we're going to hang on to what we think how things should be. Uh-huh. And of course, Pluto in Aquarius is basically no. Uh-huh. We want to make changes. This isn't right. People need to have more freedom. Uh-huh. And of course, what happens then is the people that are hanging on hang on even harder. Yeah. And of course, in some places like some American states and even in here in the UK, the freedom of women, for example, is being pulled back a couple of hundred years. Yes. You know, it's like, what? Where did that what come from? Doing? Yes. And it's like, and it's like it's going back to really old ways. And and um and it's it's like trying to suppress women, control women. Now we know that some societies on the planet already do that. But I don't think we've ever had it like this before. You know, and, and it's it, and it's it's actually quite worrying that the the proper word, the patriarchy, she says. <laughs> every man out there, of course, it's not. No, 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 no. no, no it's but not those that. those who wish to control women, yeah. Apart from on the long term, you're joking. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the long term. But it, it's like it's actually quite scary that one one rough half of the planet is trying to control the other half of the planet. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I read, yeah, yeah. read yesterday that the girls in Afghanistan have just been now refused education. Yeah. And it's talk about short sighted. You know, but, you know, but that's, that's that, yeah. traditions in some part of the world, but it was never a tradition in some part of the world where it started to happen. Yes. And it's like, so you see how much fear is behind this need to control. Yes, and, that's what it is, and because, it feeds the fears. It feeds our yeah, fears. Yeah, because uh, the ultimate controlling the fertility or attempting to control the fertility of women is a core thing. Yes. You know, if you're trying to control that, then, yeah. You, so there's, and this is partially the this undertow of Pluto going backwards and forwards. Okay. You can see that eventually yeah. it'll unravel and we'll be back to some semblance of sen- of sensibility and logic because it's not logical at all. No. But the amount of fear, and this is where Pluto wins, the amount of fear that's generated um, and that where people believe disinformation and people believe that they have rights over somebody else. This is, to some extent, where this sort of comes from. Okay. So we have that running underneath everything. It's a bit like um, it's a bit like one of those fancy opera layer cakes that's got lots and lots and lots of fine levels, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and the very, very bottom of it. <clears throat> The next layer is the one that we have the biggest problem with, and this is disinformation, lies and delusion. Right. And I'm afraid all this year... It's going to be like that. We we have it in loads. Mm. And um, it doesn't help... Well, obviously, it does help people because people make money out of it. Yeah, 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 lots. Um, But again, it stokes the fear. Mm. And to try to find out the truth is getting harder and harder. Mm. 
and is like has been happening in Gaza and people trying to give you the truth get shot. Mm. Um, people that try to give you the truth get locked up in other parts of the world, mm. you know, and um, or they get all their rights removed. They might not end up in prison, but they get their rights removed. Yeah. Um, and this is one of the biggest problems. Now, they didn't have this before World War II, 1933 through to 1939, because they didn't have the internet. Yeah, I would say, yeah. So we're lucky we've got fantastic communication, but it is actually, for a lot of people, it's moving against them and it's, it's creating a a huge amount of misinformation and it means that some people who want to be deluded you know no politicians I'm thinking of of course in anywhere in the world um yeah. they can carry on being as deluded as they like because no one's going to stop them yeah that's true you know because until somebody stops them they'll just carry on mm. you know because, and of course, the trouble is that they've got plenty of money behind them. And like happened in the uh, Brexit um, uh, election that happened here, money from other parts of the world flooded mm. into the UK to underpin all the disinformation. Mm. And we end up in a situation that is absolutely stupid. Mm. Mm. You know, and people where it's getting worse and worse. Mm. <laughs> he said, on a pure personal level, I went, I went to get some, um, uh, some steroid ointment because I have a scar in an unfortunate yeah. place that since I had babies, and I need this ointment. So I go and get the ointment, and there isn't any. Oh wow! Because of because of Brexit. Oh wow! I think this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's so it that's thing, and it was fueled by money from places that want to see destabilization. They want to see destabilization in the West, and yeah. they're very, very successful at it at the moment. Yeah. They want to see destabilization on their back door. And they want to see destabilization on other people's back doors as well. Oh. And so the money's flooding in to these areas that are enabling them to, to do things they shouldn't really be doing. But it's all under Neptune. And Neptune is the is the planet that's associated with illusion and delusion. Oh. And people tend to think of it as in not, oh, not a particularly powerful planet. Oh, yeah. That energy because it's not really the planet, it's the energy it represents, yeah, yeah. is very powerful. Because it gets into the wrong hands and people are able to mould it to what they want. Mm. Wow, and so I'm for a bumpy year, huh? Yeah, and so I'm afraid we've got that all year as well. Wow. Unfortunately, Pluto, the previous one, it goes as it is, it goes, it's tied back. Yeah. Things will get quieter because people are thinking, oh, yes, we're familiar with this. So really, we're of a year of two halves. The wow. first part of the year, hang on to your seatbelt and strap yourself in. Um, the second part of the year, apart from the American presidential election and possibly a UK general election and anybody else who wants to jump on the bandwagon, yeah. it's going to be relatively peaceful although the disinformation is going to be all over the place. Okay. You know, it, we yeah. just, it's not going to, we're not going to be able to get away from that. Mm. Um, and it's interesting is some of the younger generations see straight through it. It's uh, people in the middle that haven't grown up with email and internet to say anything who have, you know, it's like some younger people can see where some, when something's been IA'd. An older yeah. person's not used to looking in that sort of detail at something. Yes. yes. And so it would be much more easily fooled. Yeah. Yeah. So to some extent, it's the young generation that have the power in this because they can actually see through things. Yeah. And they can do 
change and, and they can do things but that's it as a generalization was what we've got we've got a year of two halves wow wow um the chart that uh at the beginning of 2004 i mean the sun's always in capricorn unfortunately because the beginning of the year is always the first of january so that's not going to tell us anything <laughs> no. at all because it's the same every year but what of course is different is the other planets and for 2024, the moon is in what astrologers would call in the 12th house. The moon is tucked away. Uh -huh. um, it, it's in just about in Leo, which I think is why the why the, the year came in with such a big bang. Well, yeah. In more ways than one. Yes. Um, yeah. Is <laughs> that just where you were, we're here sort of thing. Um, but it's very interesting because in astrology speak, the 12th house is what's hidden. So we have another load of stuff that's hidden. Wow. And this is the the emotional um, stuff that's going on. And anybody who's sensitive and who picks up on the collective will know that the collective is a right mess. Yes, so if yes. you're a psychic or clairvoyant or whatever, you will feel the pressure yes. from what's the, the shared emotions and thoughts of everybody. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, you it's pick up you it. that, yeah, I pick up on this, but it's interesting what you say this because Janet, our friend, our French way friend who does all this stuff, yeah. she says, put in for 20, 20 years of craziness in the mind. She said, so for you, Julie, it'd be good because you'd be sorting them all out. But, um, but she said it's really playing with that their minds their emotions and it yeah. in their charts it's 20 years of it yeah yeah and i would say basically i mean the whole of the, this year is basically the same and it gets um as we go through the years a little bit more targeted you know it's a little bit less of the i am rather than you know people targeting how they want the collective to think right how they want the collective to behave emotionally right Wow. And this is how they control people. Yeah, this is how, yeah, yeah, definitely. And this is how it, how, how it, how the control happens. Oh. Because unless you're aware you're being manipulated. Manipulated, yeah. You know, um, it's very hard. Yeah. And sometimes when they, my people find out they are being manipulated, they will go into denial. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen that. You see this already. Yeah. You say, no, 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 the, yeah. you're talking rubbish. That can't be true. Oh, oh. You know, you, you see scientists on social media tearing their hair out over, you know, people saying, well, this is, and they're saying it's a scientific whatever, you know. And it's like, no, no, it, it's not what I believe. So therefore, yeah, therefore it can't be right. Therefore it, therefore it can't happen, you know, yes, yeah, and that yeah. sort of thing. And, yeah. and it is. So it's, wow. like I said, it's a very interesting year. And it's a year that you see more of the world things on the world stage reflecting what's going on astrologically that's always been the case to some extent but this year i think it plays out very very clearly now um uranus we talked briefly about because it, it's the one that um has given us the 84 year cycle yeah. And it's always the one where things are trying to break down. Yeah. And Uranus is trying its best. It's in Taurus at the moment. And Taurus is like a being stuck in, a, in the mud. And so, you know, you know if, you, if you like the, the person fighting its way out, he's having a bit of trouble at the moment. But as we get through further into the year, it gets a little bit more energy and things will start to shift. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really get going then until, until May. So oh. we've got this first part of the year yes. that is very strange. Mm. Okay. Now, the next slowest planet after Uranus um, is basically, is mostly thought of as Saturn. And, and But in between them all is a planetoid that's called Chiron that was discovered oh. in 1933. Yeah, we all know Chiron, yes. Which is interesting, 1933, that they came up before didn't it yes didn't it yes, just okay 1933 yes we had yeah. that before and yeah and so we have it up again this yeah. year this time joining 
an eclipse of the moon at the end of March <gasps> with Mars and in the sign of Aries. Oh. Well, I said this to Simon the other day, only because of course being very Aries himself. Yeah. He sort of maybe guffawed at it and said, hmm, yes, right, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically, the country that has the most Aries, Libra, Cecil, because they're opposites yeah. in it, yeah. is Israel. Oh. So at the end of March, the moon, the eclipse, and Mars in Aries. Wow. Land, well, you know, in Israel's chart, all lined up. Oh, wow. Wow. And Chiron, I knew because I'd already worked it out because yeah. it was related to the other things. But when I realized it was also eclipse, we're into eclipse country then for this year. And it was also Mars. It was like, oh. this is where people have to come to the negotiating table. Right. If they don't get hit, get there before then, they will get dragged there. Wow. And Uranus and Jupiter that joins in the mix will ensure that communication will happen. It might not be liked, but they're not going to get out of this any other way. No. The only people that can get out of this are the Israelis themselves. Mm -hmm. They are the only people that have the power. Mm -hmm. And I know an awful lot of people are horrified with what's going on at the moment. Um, it, it's so painful for them. Yes, yes. Um, and, and it's like... So, so this, this, this big shift. This is what we're looking at. This big shift is happening end of March. We have a eclipse cycle. We have two eclipses, one following the other. Oh wow! Um, we have um, one on the on the twenty fifth of March, followed by another on the eighth of April. Um, and this is all Aries. And eighth of April, there are six planets in Aries. Oh wow! I mean, in traditional speak, well, I always used to think, oh, I still do think of Aries of being the very young baby that just screams out that it's in pain or it's hungry and everybody has to run to fix it. And I think it's probably the same here. You know, because yeah. obviously, you know, um, it, needs, it needs sorting. And all the diplomacy in the world... It's going to have to pull on everything. Exactly. And it's going to have to pull on some people with a bit more skill, I'm sorry, guys, than the people are trying to diplomatize it at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, because something has to change. It's got to give. Yeah, something has to, has to give. To. It has to. Yeah. yeah. And so, unfortunately, we've got a very bumpy run <sighs> until we get to the end of March. Wow. Well, it's going to be very difficult, even looking at, at March's um, uh, March and April's charts themselves. Uh -huh. um, they're very, very, they've got areas that are very, very concentrated energy. You know, it's like it's not all spread. Yeah. Very, very concentrated energy. And both March and April. Um, March is worse, a little bit worse. But March and April, the concentration is so much on um, Aries, which um, famous astrologer, he's, he's dead now. He used to call me mine, mineitis. It's a disease of being the self, the disease of being what I want. Oh, wow. You know, and yeah. I think that was a fantastic description. Um, yeah. And so this, this is one of the problems. So as we go through the sign of Aries um, this year, the reflections into the collective and into the world are going to be very, very strong. Wow. You know, and there'll be a lot of people still with their heads heads in the sands trying to pretend it's not happening, you know, you know this isn't going on. But in the end, wow. the communication has to happen. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
has to. You know, the joint communication, the negotiations, the we've got to sort this out. It can't carry on much so people, some people want it to. It will reach a point when something big has to be done. Mm. And it's quite interesting because as we go through March, April and May, the energy does indeed start to move. Fine. It gets very, very pointed in May, very, very focused in May, mm -hmm. and then it starts to dissolve. So one <clears throat> can assume from that that when we get into the middle part of the year, that the negotiators and the communicators are working very hard. They've oh, still got to de deal with with the people who are doing the fighting. Uh, and of course, you've got Russia, Ukraine, you've got, got all the stuff in the, yeah, all the stuff going on in the Middle yeah, East. Yeah, yeah. And of course, there's lots and lots of other little battles going on all over the place. Yeah. They've still got to deal with the people who are doing the fighting, who are doing it because they think they have to do it to survive. Mm. If you listen to Russia's propaganda on Ukraine, they, it, they see it as their right. Because mm. Ukraine's another relatively new country yes. as well. Yes, yeah. yes. They see it as that it is their right. They see it as they fear for it as a small child fear fears yeah. for not being fed. Yeah. You know, and so it's trying to understand that sometimes it, the manipulation's there, of course it is, and the bucket load, but underneath it all, there's an awful lot of fear. Mm. And fear's growing because I can feel it every day. You can fear that fear around. Yeah. An awful lot of fear. An awful lot of fear. Yeah. But yes, it starts to, you know, people start to really get the, get going. At the end of April, um, Jupiter and Uranus are conjunct in Taurus. And um, that will be when the, if you like, the, the, the truth seekers, the collective, the people start to say, hey, look, you've got to listen to me. Uh -huh. You know, people who are observing all the stuff that's been going on. Mm. the last six months the last whatever we'll say actually no i mean i can see that you could be describing the un if anybody was able to stand up and say well, okay guys just stop this i don't even not even sure whether there is anybody within the un that anybody will listen to no i don't think so but it's that sort of thing Oh, that sort of person that you know is like you've got to get hold of it. It's like teenagers scrapping, or you know, kids in the playground and it's saying, get hold of the thing, just stop. Just stop, yeah. Because you have to stop. stop. Yeah. And I think by the time we get to sort of the 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 Jupiter Uranus conjunction, April, May, then the need to sort this out becomes very apparent. And hopefully someone or something will step in. Absolutely, please. You know, um, because too many people, I mean, I mean, I know that if you look at World War One, the number of deaths that occurred in World War One are absolutely horrendous. Mm. You know, yeah. particularly for a very small area of the globe. Yeah. Are really quite scary. Yeah. You know, so I suppose it's got to go some to get to that. But that doesn't mean that it's right. No, it doesn't. It's like, you know, at all. Um, but it's like, is that energy's come back around again saying, look, no, this has to be absolutely sorted. And so as we go into the summer, the dissipation of that concentration of the eclipses and everything else, of course, the Pluto stuff, USA stuff will still be going on, UK stuff will still be going on, it'll still be going underneath. But the thing that's in our laps at the moment should begin to unravel a bit. Good. Now, if you're doing spiritual practice, you will notice all this stuff because it will affect what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. You'll need more, but if you have been needing, if you haven't already tw twigged, you need so much more protection. Mm. Oh my God. Than yeah. you would normally do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I know for me, I mean, it's changed the spiritual practice I do. I never thought I'd have to get into self-protection <laughs> in no. quite the same way as I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. 
It's absolutely because it's affecting us from all angles. Yeah. And so it's like, even if you're not taking any notice of what's going on in the world stage, this will be happening in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you will get caught up in some of these delusional thingies. And you'll go on a a fairy trip if you're not yeah. careful. <laughs> and um be caught up in all this. Few times. <laughs> yeah. You know, because you have to keep your feet on the ground. Yes, very much. And I know sometimes it's very painful. Mm-hmm. And I know sometimes it can be terribly boring if you're used to trotting around the universe, um, whatever. But for your physical wellness, you, you need have to, be to keep here. your feet on the ground. Yeah, you do. You need to be here. Yeah, because otherwise the energies will mess up the subtle and physical energies in your body. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe. And it's like it, it, and it's it's it's, and it's very hard to do. You know, when I think about what's happening now, and I think about what it used to be like. Oh God, this makes me that old now. When it was when I was first teaching yoga and doing that sort of thing in the seventies. I mean, people would never have dreamt of having to deal with the weight of other people's stuff that um, anybody who's sensitive is trying to deal with now. Wow. Wow. Wouldn't have a clue. No, no, but it's moved so quickly. And the last and it's, the it's, last it's, few months has been for me really hard. Yeah. Really. I yeah. mean sometimes I think I'm going crazy. I mean there's been yeah. days, you know, I'm thinking Oh my God, I'm going crazy. Yeah. I'm retiring. Yeah. Well, I actually found that I had, I think, I think it was around one of the full moons before Christmas. It was a horrendous. Yeah. Um, I actually got depressed, which I haven't done for 50 years. Right. You know, and that's when I thought, ah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And same for me, Sue. I was extremely low in my mood, everything. Yeah. And it was like, this isn't me, yeah. but it's how I'm feeling at the moment. You know, and it's like I felt like I'm walking through porridge. Yeah, yeah, and it's and so it's like it's not that you. It's like people say, "Well, you know, I need to do big stuff. I need to get things." Like, no, sort your own backyard out. Sort your family out. Sort your house out. You know, sort sort your immediates out. You can't worry. I know it sounds awful. You can't worry about what's happening in the world outside because you can't fix it. No, you need to fix here, stay here, yeah, and find right. and somehow bring yourself back into your heart, find some peace. Yeah, that's right. Be, in your heart, back find peace. to be here and now. Oh, yeah. Ramdas, you know, yeah. you use stuff. Be here, be now. Yes, and fix. And if the only thing you can manage in one day is to wash up the dishes after you've had a meal. And yeah, that's exactly. good. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. It, and it's teaching a lot of people not to be so hard on themselves, mm. um, and expecting them to do fantastically wonderful, famously beautiful things. It's not what it's about at all. No, no, it's not. You know, because the thing is that the bigger things in the world, and it's like one of the saddest things. Like, well, not saddest thing. Over the new year, I saw quite a few memes on social media. Is all I want for this new year is there to be peace on earth there's never been peace on earth and that reality is a hard one to swallow Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the only bit of peace you can get is within your realms that you have any power over yes exactly if you try and worry about the realms you have no power over you just deplete yourself and this is what we have to keep reminding people yeah. constantly, which is what I try to do. Yeah. And I think this is one of the things that this year in particular is focusing for people on a spiritual path of any description mm. is understand actually where your real power lies. Mm. And it's sort of in here. It's the yeah. only place it really is. It's, but it's, it's like then recognizing it and using it to what you can do. Um, and it's, yeah, it's not fluffy, you know, it's not all cotton wool, whatever. It's hard survival stuff. Mm-hmm. So what some of these <clears throat> bigger groups of people are trying to do to survive is reflected on you, is what you do this year for yourself 
is you get you you sort out your survival needs that you need yeah and, and you that can... you have power to deliver yeah, yeah. i mean it's you... very very hard if very hard if you're on incredibly low income and you haven't got any spare money or anything like that but it basically is saying okay this is how it is so what do i now do to survive to get to through survive this. yeah 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 <laughs> i remember when i was a kid um yeah we were on very low income when i was much, much younger and i remember the one thing my father even to his dying day wanted forgiveness for was going to the down to the coal merchants down the road and nicking some coal for us for the winter. Oh, he bless never him. got over it. Bless him. You know, but he saw the need, the family's need. So, yeah. and right enough, it justified. Yeah. You know, you know. But he never got over it because that, yeah. It, it, it never got over it. Oh, you know, the fact him. that, and I think when you're pushed to that, where does my next meal come from? Where does the food come from? It's realizing that, uh, you know, it makes you work on parts of yourself that you never thought you'd have to work on. Yes. Yes. It's to do with self-worth. It's yes. to do with your value you place in yourself. Yes. And it's really, really hard if you're having to deal with that, but it still comes down to what you're able to control. Yes, it is. You know, you yeah. can't control what in the UK. You can't control what they're talking about in London. No, you can't. You can't do any of that. No. You know, what you can control do is what is going your on in your, in your neighbor, in your immediate yeah. neighborhood. Your immediate family, your immediate your self, immediate your, family, your, yeah, immediate your immediate vicinity. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it, and it's like, and yes, you may sometimes have to do things that you think that are not right, you shouldn't have to do. But then you have to get your head around it. And more importantly, you have to get your heart around it. Because my dad never got either his head or his heart around that. So and he had it till his dying day. Bless him. And all he was doing was survive. You know. The and, and, what was yeah. right for you. Yeah, That's right. And I think this is the one thing that this year, and especially, you can imagine as we get going with the US presidential election, the news is going to be filled with all sorts of, and by the way, bless his cotton socks, one of the American astrologers that I, I, I say admire, I respect. Okay, yeah. He reckons Trump's going to win. I know. You know and I've got a funny feeling the same is going to happen in this country, is that the right winger is going to win. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a blessed, blessed poor bloke. I don't know how he spent his Christmas. It must have been over, pouring over all these charts. <laughs> I know, but, I know. But it'll be because the media has been controlled. Yes. <clears throat> it's the media that decide. Yeah. Because they tell you and they say, this is how you should vote. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. yeah. And you think about it and you think, what's the media doing at the moment mm -hmm. to do with Ukraine? What's the media doing at the moment to do with the Middle East? Mm -hmm. And you're thinking they're controlling what people think. They're feeding what they want. Mm -hmm. And so it's very difficult to know actually what? what's really going on. But the thing is, you you can't control it. No. You no, know. you can't. And people, if yeah, people don't understand that. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You can pray for them or you can send them whatever you need to from whatever your belief system happens. Yeah. But you can't change it. No. You know, because it's the way people are, it's the way of the world. Mm. Mm. And I mean, and we got to the point in this world that people put a lot of value on oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can list all the wars in the last 30 years of all to be done with oil. And if they don't look as though they're to do with oil, then you're not looking hard enough. Mm. And the same goes again with this one, with what's going on at the moment, it's all to do with oil. <laughs> And yet, weren't we meant to be trying to get away from using fossil fuels? Oh, yes. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, wow. Yeah, see, there's always something else going on. That's right. Always. And you think how cleverly we are led away mm. from all that. Mm -hmm. Very. You know. And we all just go. Yeah. Go, and yeah. that's basically... The sort of flavour that you've got for this year is 
finding yourself among the rubble. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> if that's it, but it is because the stuff that's going on, we're already in it. Yeah, we are. We are. Oh my gosh. So... <laughs> and, the, and, and the thing is that, you know, it's like they always say when you're working in a spiritual path, well, there's only one person that's going to save you. So. You know, it's not going to be a guru. It's not going to be <laughs> any decent guru. I tell you to go back and start again from the beginning. Yeah, they would anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so if anybody's worth their salt, well, yeah, don't even yeah, yeah. try. Yes. Yeah, just go oh, back. God. I would say, just look, bring yourselves back here, back to your heart. Back to yourself. Back to your heart. And, and it's like, I think many, many years ago, one of the, the people I've been learning off said to me, yeah, I've got you this far. Wow. Now you need to turn around and go back to your life and put it into practice. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the best advice you could ever be given. Yeah. And I think this year is going to sort that out for a lot of people. Good. They're going to realise that with all the outside events and all the coming together of some of these bigger cycles and some of these smaller ones that are, some are just history, but some have been created by the people who lived before us in history. Yes. You know, they've initiated these cycles. Yes. Yeah. We don't need to carry on the same way. No. We need to, we and that's where that Uranus Jupiter thing in the middle of the year is so important. It can be broken. These cycles can be broken. And when Pluto does its return, you know, does Aquarius, goes backwards into Capricorn, and then it eventually goes in the fully, fully into Aquarius. That's what that's about. It's it's breaking the patterns. Mm. And it's it's not just for the individual. So it's like everybody listening to this, you'll have patterns in your life that you don't realize you're repeating yes and it's like try and find out what they are yeah sometimes they creep up on you unexpectedly yeah and then you realize yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah and you think oh no i've just done that again right yeah, yeah. I do you know? that. <laughs> uh, but that's what it is it, it's it's getting to the heart of who you really are uh. and not even possibly who you think you are i like that that's a good point yes yeah that's and i think point. one of the things that comes from being a bit longer in the tooth huh? than quite a few people listening to this is is that yeah is who you really are not who you think you are it's yeah. like who the hell do i think i am and then it's am i that you know and and it's like and and this year is that lovely enough of a mess of stuff going on that you'll be able to start working this out. Wow! Because you cannot control what's going on in the planet. No, no. You can sit back and observe it, and all right, yes, you can get very upset about it. You can get very very angry about it, but, but this doesn't do you any good. Yeah, just but it's not. Damage. It's not. It's actually very sadly. You, you can get, get upset about the fact that another human being will do that to another human being. Ah, Fair yes. do. You know, you get angry at that, you know. But <gasps> it's still not yours. It's you looking as the observer over all these events. Yes, yeah. yeah. And and heaven help us all that, um, particularly Americans, if they end up with Mr. Trump doing in again yeah. and as is quite likely around the same time we end up in the uk with another lot of right-wing people that are making the poorer poor poor poorer and the rich get richer um is that is the humanity it's trashing yes it's the humanity that's it what happens. Happens. Yeah. it's the yeah. people it's it's the humanity that's being trashed and that's going on now yes um in ukraine and going on in the middle east now is the humanity yeah. that's being trashed yeah and we have to go uh, back to humanity yeah and yeah. it's like yeah come on. and this is what the pluto in aquarius is all about is come on guys we're better than this you know we don't have to hang on to that security stuff of pluto in capricorn we don't have mm. to do that again now mm. 
you know, yeah. we we have a bit of a new slate. And it's whether we as a collective can do it. Can begin to turn the corner. Yeah. And well, we have to believe that we can, don't we? Well, yes. And I think the thing is, if we don't as a collective, then we do it in little bits. Yes. Yes. And that you know. will have a ripple effect eventually. That's again. right. And I mean, it's like, and if you take care of your family, your own backyard, your neighbours, yeah. and things and like that, 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 will, that, can, that can has be. a ripple effect on. Yeah. And yeah. also pointing out to people that that's what you're doing. Mm. You know, that because um, people said to me, you know, you don't do healing anymore because I used to work as a therapist at the clinic. And I, and I said to them, actually, no, I used to be one to one. I'm now one to 500 because I'm actually I look after um, a council area where I live and I've got 500 residents in there. And when I realized that my one to one has gone one to 500. And therefore. You feel like my backyard has expanded a little bit. Just a bit soon. Just a bit. I can't coat any bigger. No. I mean, I know when I get to my limits with the ones of 500, I can't coat with any bigger. So over the years, it's made me really focus on what I actually, what difference I'm able to make. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. not to get too egoed about it, thinking, oh, can I do that? I can't. So just leave it. Can I do that? Possibly. Yeah. And that's what I try to do now because yeah. I've learned. Yeah. From and I think the other thing is, 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 is don't do it unless you're asked. Oh yeah. Isn't that, that's a big one. Oh yes. Oh yes. yes. Oh, that is, that's an absolute classic to bet, to bet and master one that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't matter how good a healer or how good a orator or how good or whatever you might be, unless somebody asks you to do it. Don't do it. Yes. We learn that when we get older, don't we soon? Yeah, and I think it's very easy, particularly when you you have healing skills. Yes, you feel that the need to to, to heal, or you you know everybody, your help. friends. I mean, family is probably the worst, but you know, but you're trying to heal, mm -hmm. and it's realizing, no, you can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've learned. Yeah, I've learned, I was talking to yeah. somebody the other day about this, and you know, in the one of the Harry Potter films, um, Dobby, the little house elf, yeah, he gets yeah, his hand yeah. and he, he smacks his hand and says yeah. no. And that's, I found myself doing that, a lot of that lately. Yeah. This is not your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's yes. asked. No, nobody's asked, so don't do it. Yeah. Sit on your hands, yeah. you know. And, and it, you, people say, well, you know, that's not very spiritual. Actually, it is, because mm -hmm. it's the ultimate in respecting another person's space. Yeah, yeah. Is because, yeah. you know, and keeping your ego yeah. in check at the back here. Yeah, and yeah. it's the what what the old phrase was the grist to the mill the things that make things grind the grinding mill for flour mm -hmm. this year has got this in spades and so, so it's like lessons like that if you haven't faced them or you haven't had to face them before bear them in mind as you go through this year you know you, you not can't fix what's going on outside no, you can't. You can fix your reaction to it, but on the other hand, you're also still human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can... You but can getting angry, I mean, it's okay being angry about it and being upset, but at the end of the day, that has to stop too because that being angry and that being upset is not actually helping. No, and it's, you, and it's that. using... It's just, it's just you. And right? it's using your energies, but on yeah. the other hand, you are responding as a, a human being. Being, yes. Yeah. You know, I, I'm probably like you, Julie gets me is is when when the animals get involved oh, that's yeah. when i get that's when i lose it <laughs> yeah because <laughs> we're doing that and they have no yeah 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 yeah, yeah like you that. know and but it's like it but then you sit you say to yourself well that's okay it's who you are mm. yes it is and not yeah and not to feel guilty for being and not to feel guilty about it yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's who you yeah. are and it's because like, people are being forced to take sides as well i, I mean because obviously i've been yeah. in the East a lot of the time and it's like people are forcing people to take sides and many of those people don't actually want to take sides of anything i mean their right. humanity is there but it's then um, yeah it gets difficult it's, yeah. and people try and make me take sides i get all yeah, historical. I, I get all historical on them yeah i do i go stop i dig out dig out the history and say well look you know if you look at this and if you go back to wherever you go back to where yeah. and you can go back and you can go back yeah. and you can go back yeah where does it start 
you know yeah exactly you, so you need to be a doctor who time lord to be able to go back to where it starts because yeah, it out. this this is old and because it all it's old it isn't going to be fixed quickly no no, it's in it, there's an ingrainedness about it a bleed through really yeah 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 and it's like it's respecting that and also respecting that some people have got to that aries point that they feel threatened enough on their survival yes that they actually have to do something about yes. it yeah and yeah. um and that i can i can understand i'm not saying i agree with it but I understand that things got things have got to got, got to a point that something and people felt threatened that they needed to do something. Mm. I'm not saying they did the right thing, but you know, it's how the world works. Yeah, it is. And eventually and everything the, explodes anyway. And yeah. So oh, yes. and, and, and things go on a go on a, on a huge cycle. You know, I mean, the Americans will be celebrating the cycle of when America became America. Yes. You know? Yeah. That's spooky. <laughs> you know, and it does yeah. it get to a point uh, that America isn't America anymore? It's like the United Kingdom. You know, uh, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, and Cornwall will quite happily just disappear and then leave England to it. To you know, yeah. you know. There's you other know, countries like that too. I was just going to say, you know, it's like it happens all over. All over, yeah, yeah. But yeah. <sighs> so so this this year, this first part of the year is going to be an emotional ride. Mm. But the spiritual energy behind it is very important. Yeah. Is it's all about letting go of things that you should not be wanting to control. Oh, yeah. yeah and moving to where you actually do have the power to work which is yourself yeah you know, it's, it's yes. you. and then what you can do with your family and whatever and, and then and that immediate space and yeah, then it, that, it, it, it brings it all back to the center yeah. of what you're actually able to do yeah and um and so i think for people are growing spiritually it is a difficult time, but it's also a time of fantastic opportunity. Yes, and that's but what you've got to hope and peace. And hope. You've got to step back far enough. Yes, to see and realize then that maybe what you see, maybe not what you thought, was yes. there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a bit like also the other phase, like what you hear. Listen to what you're actually hearing, not what you think you're yeah. hearing it's the yeah. same thing yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Sue. but i think the nice thing is is that it is this wave of this year that first bit really steep and then it and then comes surprisingly in. levels off considering we know there's an american election and the whole world will get thrown into it at yes. the end of the year it was surprisingly um you know it uh, with the eclipses being early on in the year mm. You know, I mean, the next set of eclipses are October, um, and uh, and I think that probably uh, yeah, September and October, yeah. and I think that's probably when the UK will probably yeah. the stuff will, will hit. Yeah. But it, but again, it, it they're not all totally on, but they're very close on the Aries Libra seesaw. So it's what am I going to do for me selfishly? Hmm. And what am I going to do for everybody as a group? Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a lot to think about then, don't we? We do. <laughs> Should we skip to the following year? Should we just like like? <laughs> Funny enough, you do that. One of, the things I, one of the things I did do, I thought I got to the end of it, and I thought, oh hell, I thought let's go look and see what twenty twenty five has got for us. And <laughs> it's basically completely different oh. energy. Oh. You know, which was an absolute relief. Yeah, I'm glad. You know, um, <laughs> and it was, and it was like, yeah, you know, completely different energy. And you're thinking, oh, okay, so we survived. At least we yeah. thought we were going to survive. So that's the main thing. Yeah, 
but but the thing is it's it's like you know you can't write off this year because this year is where the work gets done yeah, it gets done yeah yeah this is yeah. Difficult, yeah and and i think it's very easy i think when you're looking at um things from a spiritual point of view you're thinking well you know i'll just skip to 2025 yeah uh, but misses the point yeah of course it does really. yes yes um but yeah, it, it, it is it, i mean anyone who thinks that they've got it sussed run away from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so right so i'll come see you in wales in the summer <laughs> yeah oh but it, it is you know it's like you mm. think it, and even with him i'm talking about this could be like this and i know generally that that's how it's going yeah but i mean who knows and who knows what the planet's got to say about it exactly exactly you see there's always a mystery because i always say as you know life's a mystery and sometimes yeah, we just I don't need that... to know the answers we get yeah. them when we know it yeah the I rest mean, of the time yeah i mean we've, we've had little earthquakes in california bigger earthquakes in japan we've had stuff going on in iceland we've had earthquakes here in the uk yeah, yeah, um yeah. Yeah, you know, floods. I mean, I mean, there's, and we've had weather like whatever, whatever. Yeah, you know, really like half day. half of England lugging underwater, and um, yeah, you and know, we've, I, and we've got frost and everything else. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, and it's like um, it, it puts us in a bit of perspective. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Up, up there they've got they know what's going on they're, they're yeah, the, on. the planet knows what's going and on the planet knows, so it's yeah. a really good idea to stay in contact with the planet because it's about the only thing that knows what it's well, doing. So just count yourself back here yeah that's right and um yeah yeah so oh it's so lovely to talk to you this is like oh, this is fun well yeah yeah kind of fun, fun. Um, fun. Yeah. Uh, kind <laughs> of, so many people have been asking me what's sue say about the year what does sue say about the year so don't worry just held on i'll get it to yeah uh, and i think it's basically i mean for individuals a lot of personal work yes you've got opportunities this year to get a lot of stuff done cool. find out who you are i like that find out so that could be our that could be our theme for the year really yeah. find out. Well, well it is really because even yeah. on a on a country level the bottom line is is who are you yeah you know because yeah, ukraine yeah. has got the same question israel's got the same question yeah, america's been faced with the same question oh, yeah. the uk oh, you, yeah the same because it's actually you know as the people who are you and as an individual who are you who are you yeah yeah and yeah, if, yeah. if you think you've understand who you are think again yeah because we never do yeah who are you yeah, yeah. whose voice are you even yeah I know, yeah. Oh, so you've given us so much to think about. Well, thank you. Maybe we'll have to have you back in the year before the elections are up saying, Sue, look at this for us. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for anybody who's expecting this is January, this is February, this is March, this is April, because this year is different. different. <laughs> yes. It's I different. Like it. I like that, that it's different. We don't want to be conformed, and that's why everybody loves listening to you anyway, Sue, so... <laughs> Really, including me, because I think, oh, this is really interesting. <laughs> and it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It was, so, I said, it was, it was interesting looking at it. I, I must admit, I I, uh, my, I made a few faces when I was looking at the eclipses at the end of March. I thought, ah, right, okay. Yes. <laughs> Knowing well, what the eclipses did this last year, you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe we need to get you back. After six months, you know, when we go into that quieter season, to yeah, then into quieter season when hopefully um, people are properly talking about where they take their countries from now. Yeah, and also with a lot of people, is like I found out about myself things I didn't realize were going on, and yeah. um, and, and where do I take it? And and I, but I think it is very much about finding is that getting in touch with the the core of the heart and anchoring it into the earth. Yeah. If you anchor into the earth, you can reach anywhere Anything. in the universe. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody wanting to ascend, whatever, that's the way round you do it. Anchor. It's to heart, the earth. earth, and earth yeah. automatically puts you there. Yes. 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 Yeah. Always, I always say that to people. So yeah. Please don't try and do it the other way around because you'll no. make yourself ill. Really ill. 
I always see that too quite often yeah <laughs> yeah and then you have to chat like get them to go the other way around and then you know the light I know that's up. right and people say what no 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 they think actually it's the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah always always yeah so yeah oh well well thank you Sue so well, and it's um, nice it's nice to see see you nice to, nice to see you with a jumper on and not a yeah, summer dress on. Not, yeah and it's she so nice because her hair her ears <laughs> I know it's admiring that it looks lovely so they can have a personal reading with you I would really recommend it um uh, Sue helps me with many of my clients all over the world. So often I'll be a bit stuck and say, you know what, just go and have a reading with Sue because she looks at all aspects of your life. Um, so if you want a personal reading, highly recommended. And they contact you. Well, all the details will be on here as usual, or you can DM me or it's Sue Lily at gmail.uk. Yes. Oh, don't. so say that again, Sue Lily. Well, the, the easy oh, yeah. way is through, is through my website, so yeah. suelily.co.uk. Okay. So it's an easy one to yeah. remember. And it's Lily without an E. So it's yes, L I double L Y. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can contact me as well. Um, and the whole of details will be on here. And we just want to say, Sue, thank you so much. This has given us so much to think about. I'm going to look forward to the comments when we post this out. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and well, good luck to everybody for the year. Enjoy yourself, work on yourself. Yes. You're guilty, right? Yes, that's right. I think that's a big thing for people. So, well, thank you. And again, just remember if you've not subscribed to the channel before, please do so. If you And if you like what you hear, please do press like. And we'll see you again. Hopefully, maybe we'll get you back then mid year. But anyway, look out on my channel because there's lots of things with Sue on my channel, all sorts of uh, different uh, things that she does from the chakra system to food and uh, colour and all sorts. So look out for Sue. But if you want to read and have a reading with her, I highly recommend it. Thank you, yeah, my love. Thank you, Ju thank you Julie. And I'll see you soon.